Hi everyone. Okay, so in this session, I'm going to continue our lecture on a topic 4. So in this session, I'm going to focus on the uh, frame analysis with hinge. So the previous lecture, we have discussed in detail uh, how we uh, analyze the frame structure with rigid joint. Okay, so uh, let's restart. Okay, so uh, what you can see in this slide, uh, we have uh, frame structures uh, with the uh, slanting member AC and the horizontal member CB. So basically, in this example, the configuration of the frame structures is uh, basically similar with the example to what we have deal in the example two here. Okay, but we uh, in the example three we change this support to become pinned and we add up the hinge at the joint seat. So uh, the dimensions and the load remain the same. Okay, let's be discuss in detail on this uh, problem three. Okay. Uh, since we have a hinge here and uh, uh, the support at the B uh, has changed to pin from roller, okay. So uh, by checking the uh, indeterminacy of this frame, if you found that this uh, structure is uh, uh, is an indeterminate structure when this hinge is not come around, okay. Due to this hinge, the frames become determinate. So you can simply check by uh, using the uh, equation of uh, D equal to R minus N minus C. So the total numbers of reaction for this uh, member is, uh, for this uh, frame is a uh, 4. So 2 come from A, another 2 come from B. So the total is a uh, 4 reaction. So the end is uh, for the 2D uh, analysis, the equilibrium equation is equal to 3. So the n is equal to 3. So c is a hinge, so the hinge numbers uh, in this uh, frame is 1, which is located at uh, c. So 4 minus 3 minus uh, c, uh, 4 minus 3 minus 1, so you will find that the, the d, which is uh, the determinacy of this frame, is equal to 0. When you move, remove this uh, hinge from the system, so the frame becomes uh, indeterminate uh, frame structures to first degree okay so due to the hinge due due to this hinge the frame structures become determinate i hope that you can figure out this uh, uh, okay uh let's be focus on the uh, frame uh, analysis okay so uh since uh, we have uh, four numbers of reactions which is a uh, four numbers of anodes you need to have a uh, four numbers of equation to solve the numbers of fraction and support okay so uh, the three is uh, come from the uh, usual equation, uh, equilibrium equation. So another one you need to uh, uh, based on by taking moment at the uh, joint C. So let's we look in detail. Okay. So by taking moment at the point A, you can see that uh, uh, this is a first equation, which is in term of BB and HB. So by considering the summation of force in the vertical, you can see that the equation is equal to VA plus BB equal to 40 kN. And by considering the summation of force in the horizontal, you can see that HA plus HB equal to 160 kN. So based on these three equations, you can see that the total number of anodes is e, uh, are 4. Okay, the total numbers of anodes are 4. Okay. So uh, to solve these uh, uh, four numbers of anodes, you need to have another equation where you can obtain that by cons by looking on this slide. Okay, so by considering the member CB. Okay, so these are member CB. Okay, so you can uh, obtain, you can solve the uh, reaction at support B, where you can see that the VB is equal to 20 kN, uh, 20 kN load. Okay, reaction and uh, we have uh, uh, defined that in uh, equation 2 VA plus VB is equal to 40 kN so by using the equation 2 we can get the value of reaction, vertical reaction at support A and from equation 3 okay so we have defined that HA plus HB equal to 160 kN and from that you can see that the HA can equal to 65 kN and substitute into equation 1 you can see that the HB is equal to 94 kilometer. Okay, so that is a approach to solve the reaction as support with hinge in a structures member. I think this has been uh, 
uh, explained in the previous uh, topic. Uh, we have deal with the uh, beam with hinge, if I'm not mistaken, in the uh, influence line diagram analysis. Okay, so the next is you can proceed to uh, analyze the member in the frame to get the equation of moment and sh uh, shear force and axial force. Basically, I don't want to uh, explain in detail on this because uh, what you can see in this uh, problem uh, uh, 3, okay, so the UDL load and the point load and the dimension of the frame structures is exactly similar in the example 2. So the process is remain the same. So you can refer to the example 2. Okay, you can refer my uh, lecture in example 2. So, uh, based on the explanations, uh, you can uh, apply in this uh, example tree. So, actually, uh, the problem, uh, the, the solution remains the same. Uh, perhaps they have uh, some uh, uh, changing. I think they have uh, some uh, difference on the angle. Okay, so this angle is a 53.13. That's why you can see that the value of uh, Point load here is equal to 160. In the example 2, the value is a 173. So uh, basically, I can say that the concept remains the same. Okay, so that's why I don't want to explain in detail in this uh, example 3. And you can see that this is the shear force diagram for the frame structures, and this is a bending moment diagram for the frame uh, for the frame structures. Okay, so that's it for this session. So I hope that you can figure out. Uh, you can redo this uh, problem again by your own. Okay. Um, in the example four, so I do. I am not uh, uh, intended. Uh, I don't want to uh, explain in detail on the example four. So I hope that we can uh, uh, by your own based on my explanation. Explanation in example three. So uh, basically, in this example four, you can see that we have a frame with hinge. Okay. So by. Uh, uh, by applying the concept in example 3 and 2, I, I, I think, uh, I guess that you can solve this example 4 by your own. But if you have a problem uh, regarding with this example, you can uh, text me. Okay, so I think uh, that's it for this uh, session. So uh, thank you for listening.